Hi everyone, I'm Julie. Julie, I'm back um, with another Bible life. Uh, today I decided I couldn't find that, figure out a prayer, so I figured we'd go through the, the jar. Some of these are coming out. That's so wonderful. Okay, I had several of the world, so I left one in there. And, well, we continue to pray for the world, but we'll just take that one out. That was an extra. Frank had his surgery. That is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But we can continue to just pray for Frank to recover real good. He's very glad he's got that one part out that was in his throat and all. So we'll continue to pray for him, but he has had his surgery. So that could be a prayer for today. Actually, we'll take the surgery part out and just pray for Frank. All right. And I... Uh, There we go. Pray for Frank. Just to recover. Frank's recovery. All right. Recovery. All right. So we're going to put that in the jar. And then Joyce Myers and Christ and United Christian Inner City Ministries Church, the Chicken Church, we'll pray for them too. And Israel. People living with the demons inside of them, it's a real battle. It's a real, real battle. The world has gone crazy. Pray for the world. That's another world one, kind of. <laughs> I thought I only had one in here. Pray for the homeless. Love God and do good. To help us to be able to love God and do good. Okay, people with oxygen issues, people with mental illness. That's why I think I can't think of one because we got a lot of them here. We covered a lot of these. <laughs> okay, children and grandchildren to find their way to Jesus. There's so much out there that's giving them, that's pulling them in a definite wrong direction. People not feeling well, cast our cares and give it to God. My prayers today is people that are cold. There's some people, they're not, I don't think there's too many people cold right now, but yeah, summertime is almost here. Okay, then be still. To pray that we can just be still and hear God, to know what he wants us to do. Okay. Focus on God. Prayers that we can focus on God, we can just, our Bible verse today is consecrating ourselves. Get with holiness and get holy and just stay close to God. People are enjoying God's beautiful day. That's what we pray for too. It's really kind of pretty out there. Pre-op. Things go... Some people need to um, have the pre-op before they can get their surgery. They have to do certain things. Okay. Post-trauma traumatics. Babies, it's babies with um, PTSD. There's babies and there's adults that has it too. War people and all. Spend time with family. Help them find God in this crazy world that we live in. Okay. Remember the military day? Thank God for all we have. Kids, word to the songs. Please forgive them for they know not what they do. That's what I'm talking about. It's all these, these different songs you hear them listening to that is just full of unbelievable stuff. And they, they don't think it's wrong. They think it's okay. Pray for my enemies. People that are sick. My daughter's prayer was that she can get her kids kids home. Lord, so many signs that you are on your way. Pray that people will turn to you.
Dear Lord, my prayer is that my children, my grandchildren, etc., find their way to you, and if it is your will to grow the church. God loves you. That everybody knows that God loves you. Because they God really does. He don't like sin. He hates sin. But he loves us. My granny glasses is falling down my nose. <laughs> Children that feel alone. Parents are out to work. Some are at some kind of or out in the service. They all need prayer. People burning up in the heart. Homeless people. Uh, people in other countries. People that, that are disabled. Je I don't know why I put that Jesus in the Jesus in the desert for 40 day, 40, 40 years, I guess it's like kind of like saying he knows what, it, what what they go through. Put it all in God's hands. There's quite a few little prayers in here still. <laughs> no wonder I can't figure out another prayer. Okay. Okay, I think we crossed several worlds, so we'll put that one out. Okay, truck drivers. Praying for the truck drivers. They know God. They know God loves them. Pray that they know God loves them. Okay, how to prepare for what is coming. World, family, government, people, ourselves, help us to be good Christian soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> Missing children and their parents. Organized. Trying to get organized. A lot of people, we, we just are not organized. We were not born organized. We need to pull it together and figure out how to get it done. Uh, Saturday, seven days on calendar. Everyone will rest and enjoy family, God, and let him know that he, he loves them. Lonely people. There's some people very, I don't run across a whole lot of them, but there are some really lonely people out there that feel like they don't have anybody. So pray for them. Some people have no contact with their children. Let them hear from some hear from them somehow. Okay. Silent prayers. Hungry animals around the world. People on hard drugs. They definitely need prayer to be able to come away from that. Prayers for the heartbroken people that are suicidal or close to it. I have son-in-law's hip surgery. He has to do a few things before he can get that. So keep him in the prayers if you would. Problem with breathing issues. People with problems with breathing issues. People of Israel with all the bombing. I don't know what's going on out there. I haven't heard anything recently. but And then to help us get all the cats neutered and spaded. I know that's kind of sad to do that, but they, they breed so fast. Cats is like rabbits. <laughs> they just keep going. Okay, so that's all of that today. So we'll put that up here. All right, and then our prayer, I mean our card today is our question Without what will no one see the Lord? Without what will no one see the Lord? Okay. So go to in your Bibles if you want to follow along. Hebrews twelve fourteen. Hebrews twelve fourteen. Oops, we had a missing one here. It's unanswered prayers. Pray for unanswered prayers. Okay. Sometimes the answer is no. People don't want that to be the answer. Sometimes it is. 
but God has a better purpose. We don't understand it when it's no, but God has a better purpose. Purpose. Okay, so let's go to Hebrews 12, 14. Strive to live in peace with everybody and pursue that consecration, consecration and holiness. That's to make us make us holy, make us pure. Without which no one will ever see the Lord. Okay. It's kind of making us oh yeah, holy. All right. So if you got that one, put that down. Something's telling me to read it again. Okay, strive to live in peace with everybody and pursue that consecrated and holiness without which no one will ever see the Lord. Okay, so if you got the answer, then put that down below. And that'd be great. Okay, the question was, without what will no one see the Lord? Okay, okay. All right, so if you have any other questions, if you come up with prayers, please give them to me because I cannot think of anything else to go in that jar. But we got a lot in that jar. <laughs> we've, we've covered a lot of bases. All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, any questions, comments, prayers, anything like that, please put them down. If you have the answer to the question, that would be wonderful. Okay. okay. I'm going to put do a fast closing prayer and see you again. God bless you. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for getting me here another day. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen.